A new day, a new fixing. Do you remember my laptop Legion from Lenovo i520? The power button is not working anymore. So suddenly I don't have that clicking feel anymore and it's not starting up. So uh, let's fix it. The bottom lid is off already and be sure the first step, the first absolutely step is to take off the battery and that it's already done. You see the connector, it's in the air. That's the battery connector over there. And now we have to start dismantling everything, but I mean everything. And I hope the power button, the switch on and off, it's not on the keyboard because if it's on the keyboard, then it's a mess, you know, to take the keyboard off, it's, it's absolutely mess. But let's hope for good and let's start to dismantle the fan. There are four screws there. Very nice to have a magnetized screwdriver. You can use a little magnet to do that. And you just take the screws off very easy. Now I dismantle the heat pipe and the loudspeaker over there. Remember the loudspeaker wire should be under the heat pipe when you put the things back together. Then let's go to the Wi-Fi card. It's taken in place by uh, one screw. Let's have the antennas out nice and easy. Be gentle because that uh, that connector is very thin. Now the Wi-Fi card it's off. Let's go further and have memory shield off. You can keep the memories in place, but I prefer to take them off. Be sure nothing bad happens. As you can see, the battery it's already out from the laptop. And up there near the battery we have the connectors to mouse and keyboard and so on. Those have to be also disconnected. There are a few screws keeping the motherboard in place. But let's take the heat pipes for the first. Nice and gently up from the processor and the GPU. And now you also can repaste and uh, clean the dust that's a good thing i really don't need that but as long as we are there we're gonna do that anyway now let's take the fan out don't forget the wires put them exactly in the same position before having the fans out we have to disconnect the power connector the big white one over there and uh, all the others, you know, the fence connectors. And uh, don't forget to put them exactly in the same position. All of them are around the fence in special places, in special plastic places. So it's a need to be exactly in the same position. Okay, so the fence are out and now we can give all the attention to the motherboard. You know, I never dismantled this one and you can see over there in the left on the left. Let me zoom it a little bit. That round label with Lenovo name on it, that's a seal on one of the screws. Don't forget to take that off. You can't take the motherboard without that one. And the other one on the right, it's the keyboard connector. Of course, you have to take it out. But... Uh, for now, let's have the motherboard screws out of the way. Those two connectors are for the mouse and for the light from the keyboard. The keyboard is lightened. And that's the keyboard connector, like I said. Nice and easy. Don't break it. All the other screws are away. But of course the sealed one is still there in place. I didn't notice that from the first time. And there we go, having the seal out and of course the screws out. You know, this is a really tricky one because you don't notice from the first time. And I thought it's a double tape or something. And there we are, the motherboard is out. Let's have that uh, USB ports and uh, whatever, what's beside there. 
let's have it away and now let's check for the power button so there's the power button top over there it's a plastic tip i may say so that means that it's pushing something and luckily it's not on the keyboard so it should be somewhere on the motherboard and there it is in the meantime i found this little metallic part running around hanging around the laptop inside the laptop luckily there is no harm there was no harm no shot or something because that little metallic piece could mean disaster for the motherboard and i was relieved because i can remake that switch very easy it's the same working principle like uh, those micro switches I used before and fixed before, absolutely. And now let's clean a little bit the contacts on the motherboard with a little bit of sandpaper. Okay, so there is the place where it should be that little metal part. Now it's clean. Let me see if I can put that back in place. Luckily, it's magnetized, so it's easy to get fixed. And now, to keep it over there, I'm gonna have a piece of tape on top. So, there we go. Everything's fine over there, it's looking good. Let me have my ohm meter to check for continuity now. It's working like new. Perfect, we solved that. Now we have to put uh, all the parts together in reverse order, of course. Repaste, clean the fan a little bit, the keyboard connection, try to check everything twice, because sometimes you forget about, I don't know, having the display on or the power connection or the battery, or there are so many connectors over there. Check twice before closing the lid. Also lots of screws, so it should be nice to have a kind of evidence about uh, which screw from where. Now you see I'm having back the SSD and uh, the memory are back in place, the shield is on, new thermal paste in place, ready to be covered with the heat sink. There we are. And here we go. It's not a bad idea to have a little bit of uh, thermal paste on those thermal pads too. It helps. Do not forget to have the loudspeaker under the heat pipe. <laughs> this is very important. It's a lot of mess over there. But nice and easy you can put all the things back together. Let's have the battery back in place. Don't make any connection until the screws are they are fixing everything. You can see the other hard disk is in place too. The Wi-Fi is in place. The antennas are over there. Don't forget to check the display connector. It's the other side of the motherboard. So it was happening to me to forget about and it was nothing starting. I was panicked a little bit. So the bottom lid, it's there. And it's the moment that's true. Is it starting? Okay, so let's push the button. I forgot to turn the camera to the screen, but you can see the light on the keyboard. So everything is fine. Luckily, the power button was not on the keyboard, was on the main board. And that's why it could be fixed easy. Thank you for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I love to see your comments and I'll be happy to answer your question. In the meantime, don't forget to have fun. Be safe. See you soon with some other project. Bye bye.